Today I'm going to show you how to fill out a listing agreement in dot loop. So to start you're going to go to your MyKW page and click on your My Transactions, which is going to take you to your My Transactions page here and your loops. So we're going to create a loop and you're going to label it with the property address of the home you're listing. So for this example, We'll do 5100 River Trail in Lyndhurst. Once you type that up, it should pick it up and you'll just click on there and create the loop. And you can go into your templates to get all of the listing documents on this uh, tab here. Click on Listing Packet and you can select all to pick up all of these documents or you can just click on certain ones that you need but refer to the checklist for listing to see all the documents that our office needs you to have in your loop. So we will copy those and they'll import into our loop. And we're going to focus here on the listing agreement. Here the property address has already been auto-populated into here from the loop name and you can add your sellers here and any other information and then we can auto-fill that. So it'll pick it up here on the document. So we have our property address. We'll type in our permanent parcel number, which we can get from the previous MLS listing or from the county auditor site. We'll type in the list price, which we'll do 350 for this example. And we have the exclusive right to sell period. Uh, this can be any period of time that you and your seller agree on, uh, but what's typical is a three, six, or nine month period. So let's say we'll start it on May 15th and we'll go six months. And then this area discusses the commission that the seller is going to pay you. We have 7% written into our exclusive right to sales, but if you'd like to negotiate a different commis commission percentage, you can type that into this text box here. So for example, let's say that your seller is agreeing to pay you 6%. We'll just type in 6% there. And then if you go up here, you can add a strike through and we'll just strike right through the 7% so there's no confusion that your seller is going to pay you 6% plus the 199 additional fee. Then you'll want to make sure that you assign this initial box to your seller so they can initial next to that change. This next section discusses the protection period, um, just stating that the seller agrees to refer any real estate licensees, customers, or anyone um, who contacts the seller directly, that they should contact you. And in the event that the property sells within six months after the exclusive period has expired, and the buyer had any contact with you, uh, that your commission will be honored. There's a cooperation statement just stating that we'll, we will cooperate with any brokers who are members of the MLS. Authorization to market, just stating that we do have the right to market the property, take photos, put a for sale sign in the lockbox, a few other things are listed in there. There is a fair housing statement here, just the Ohio fair housing law stating that you can't discriminate based on these items listed here or refuse to sell or lease or anything based on these items. This disclosure area uh, just states that the seller agrees to complete the property disclosure and any other um, disclosures, lead-based paint. And it is important to note here uh, that the broker cannot assist the seller in completing the property disclosure form at all. A confidentiality statement that, that you as the broker must uh, keep any information that the seller gives you that they state is confidential, that it must be confidential. Okay, you can type in here any excluded fixtures that the seller wants to take with them when they sell the home. For example, if there's a chandelier in the dining room, or if there's shelving or anything else that the seller does not want included with the property, you can list that there. Um, the home warranty section, if the seller elects to provide the buyer with a home warranty, you can indicate that here. 
put that it's by America's Preferred, and let's say we're offering a $399 warranty, which will be paid by the seller. The seller acknowledges that they are still responsible for maintaining the property here, stating that this two-page agreement is a binding agreement. And also note that if the seller is married, make sure that you get both signatures here on these lines. So again, you'll want to make sure that you assign these to your seller. You can type in their address, make sure they print their name, phone number, date, and email addresses. And then here you'll want to sign this box. And that should be everything you need to know in order to fill out the exclusive right to sell agreement.